Welcome to week 12. Welcome to day one of week 12. What we're gonna be doing now is a slight one arm incline as you can see on the bench. We're gonna be doing that four by 10. We're going to a negative chin up. We're gonna be trying to attempt four by 10 and we're going kneeling med ball slam four by 10. So go ahead and lay down on the bench. Now, go ahead and place dumbbell in one hand. Now what I want you to do is go ahead and go all the way up, lock your arm out. Now squeeze your other arm to where you have tension in it. Good, yep. So you want to imagine there's a wall right in front of your nose. Stay behind it the whole time. So go down. With both arms? Just one. Okay. All the way down. Now breathe out all the way up. Good. All the way down. All the way up. Try not to go away from your body when you press. Stay nice and close. Good, press towards my hand. Good job. Push through your heels. There's the difference in stability in your entire body. You feel the difference? Yep. Good, two more. Up. Good job, one more just like that. And press, rest, good job. Our next exercise is a negative chin up. There's a couple ways to do it. If we had a straight bar here, I would say just go under it and put your butt on the ground, but we have to have a vertical chin up now. So what we're looking to do is create a platform that you can stand on. So we're gonna go as high as we can on the bar. So go ahead and grab the bar, jump up as high as you can. Now go down as slow as you can. There's one, reset, it's perfect. Okay. Yeah, it's perfect, here we go again. Jump up, go down nice and slow. Good, two more. Jump up, slow, good, one more. Jump up. Breathe oh, down <laughs> slow. Good job, that's perfect. Okay. Our next exercise is a kneeling med ball slam. So go ahead and get down. Now, we're gonna find height in our sternum, in our stomach. We're gonna raise all the way up. We're gonna breathe out and go straight down. Good. 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 Breathe. Good job. Four, three, two, rest. Good job. Our next superset is an RDL. I want you guys to use something to reach your butt back to. We're gonna use the bench. Everything is four by 10 in the superset. Then we're gonna to go to a step up, all the way up as high as we can. Our first exercise is an RDL, stands for Romanian deadlift. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab two dumbbells. You're gonna find a point. I want you guys to think about a bullseye. This bench is a bullseye for her backside. So what we're trying to do is reach our butt behind us as we go down and never come in front of our shins but scrape our shins, reach back. Now push through your heels and squeeze your butt. That's one, perfect. What you don't want is the dumbbells to go away from your shins. You literally wanna scrape. Now squeeze your heels, squeeze your butt, great job. Don't go too high into your lower back, just squeeze your butt, done, good. Scrape, reach your butt back, good. Through the wall, through the wall, through the wall, through the wall, contract, good, two more. Up, one more. Push through the heels hard, rest. Good job, good RDLs. Our next exercise is a step up. Now a step up can be done a varying of different ways. We're gonna do the hard way. So we're gonna go ahead and put one foot up on the bench. Now, as you can see, the leverage is obviously on her back foot. So I want you to pull your back foot closer. Now, I want you to pull your toes up in your shoe, that shoe. So you can't use your toes. So pull them up all the way on your heel. So now you can't push off that back foot. Now you have to use this leg. Now, this can be all the way down to a step height. The higher up the box, the more fit you probably are, the lower the box, the more work you need, and that's fine. So what we're gonna do is eliminate that back leg, push off the front leg into the glute. Here we go. Stand up. Yep, stand straight up. Good, now do you see how much you push off your back leg? No. So you went like this. Oh. Try to completely remove it. Good job, better, even closer. Bring your back leg closer, right there. This is a real step up, you ready? Let's see it, good. Up, good, up, good, and rest. Our last two exercises of day one is gonna be a circle curl, 10 each way, and then a lateral lunge iso that we're gonna be holding for one minute total, so 30 seconds each leg. So go ahead and grab the dumbbells. Face, 
Now open your palms up like this. So you have 10 clockwise circles. Go ahead. Good. Now keep your palms up the whole time. Yep. Now keep your back still. Keep your chest elevated. Good job. Now right after that, you're going to switch and go counterclockwise. Reverse it. Yep. All the way up and all the way down. All the way up. Good job. Good. Four more. Three more. Two. And rest. Good job. Our next exercise is a lateral lunge ISO. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to go down to one side, lean way to one side, and then I want you to push your pinky toe away. So go ahead, legs out. Now lean to one side. Now push your pinky toe into the ground back towards me. Push back this way. Now hold. Good. As long as you can. We're going to be going, trying to shoot 30 seconds each leg. We might make a 10 and that's okay. I want you to squeeze your pinky toe into the outside of your butt and you're literally trying to make the outside of your butt pop and fill up with blood. Right.